Okay, this is the third time I'm trying to make this video upload. I don't know what the problem is with it. Hopefully it'll go, but it makes me want to be more and more terse, and I guess that's good. I mean, I'm discussing with YB World principles, and the, the basic thing to notice is that, you know, the idea in these, I'll try to give you a compelling argument for what I believe, but I'm not really trying to convince you or actually compel you to agree with me. I mean, a lot of times what we're doing is breaking these things down into a fine enough uh, pieces that we can understand where we really disagree. We get down to these these principles that are, you know, not absolute principles. They can be broken down further, but hopefully they're compact enough to say, yeah, I think this about that, and I think that about that. And we understand, and we can discuss those principles, knowing what relies on these principles. That if we think one thing on the principle, we go into a certain set of arguments. We think another thing on that principle, go into another set. You know, my idea of how we, we understand things is that we, we basically have more vague ideas at first. We analyze them, break them out, see some principles that explain how we feel. You know, because at first we just know it when we see it. We're just kind of thinking in general a certain way things should be. And then we analyze it. You know, so we come up with an idea of capitalism before we've come up with the idea of what the actual principles are. We don't invent a bunch of principles and build something called capitalism and then that's that. We keep analyzing, and capitalism is supposed to be a model for economic work in the real world. So we're not talking about something like the rules of monopoly. You change the rules of monopoly and suddenly you can say, oh, that's not the game of monopoly, because monopoly is just about itself. It's about a game that wants to be fun and wants to uh, not be a trivial game and wants to, uh, where, for example, whoever goes first wins, it wants to be um, a system in itself. You know, if you're trying to uh, compare a monopoly to reality, you know, then you would find that when you break a, a system down into its fundamental principles such that it's true by definition, like these rules and principles have to be in place for this thing to be a monopoly, then fine, but your model, if it's of reality, is never going to be perfect. So if you've got principles that can't be improved anymore, then the whole model becomes suspect, is what I'm saying. Because you know it's not going to map 100%, so if there's no way to improve it, then it's come to the end of its life, that model. Okay, and given that, even even in Monopoly, people do change the rules of Monopoly, and they call the results Monopoly. They, they say if you land on free parking, you get all the money that's been put in the middle of the the table, and they still call it monopoly because obviously where did it come from? It still came from the rules of monopoly. Everything is evolving. You know, in, in a sense, even the rules of monopoly are about the real world, not about an economic system, but about the real people playing the game. The real people playing the game get an idea of what the game's about, what's fun about the game, what makes the game uh, worthwhile, and maybe what makes the game not fun. And they modify the rules with that in mind, okay? See, so even in a game like Monopoly, the rules tell you how to play, but then you play and you feel it, and the principles, the, the essence of that game is still what it means to you. So you're analyzing the game just like one of these vague ideas. So even in, though it really was created from the rules, you then analyze the playing experience and you still break down and will find new principles. Now in capitalism, we don't really have a perfect definition. Different people, even pro-capitalists, have different definitions of what capitalism means and we still have to break that down. And even if maximizing profit was a principle that is absolutely a part of capitalism, then you still have questions such as, what does profit mean? The Ayn Rand Institute's a not-for-profit organization. And I call them you know, objectivists on this, and they say, oh, well, there's other kinds of profit. Oh, really? Because, I mean, usually Ayn is talking to me, it seems, about, you know, classical ideas of profit, monetary profit that can be measured in money. And yet, here we have the Ayn Rand Institute seeking some more abstract form of profit. Well, the definition of profit will make a big difference to a philosophy that is saying, let's maximize profits. So we would break down that principle into, well, what are the principles of um, profit? What are the principal uh, definitions of profit? And in whatever the answers would be, there would be concepts in there that could further be broken down. And so this is a process of learning, you know, uh, life is a process of learning. And so in all cases, this is what we do. We, we have experiences, uh, we model them, we figure out what the principles are for those experiences. Um, we discuss those principles. We find out that to improve our discussion of those principles, those principles themselves have to be broken down. What used to be principles then become uh, conclusions of arguments that argue from now the 
the more fundamental principles. And that process, I say, never ends.